Hello, my name is Don Valenti and I'm an advocate in the city of Chicago. When I first heard about Felicia Barnes, I was really devastated. I remember thinking that how could a young lady so beautiful just disappear in the thin air? I felt I wanted to get involved to try to help because it was the right thing to do. And even though I was in another city, I knew there was ways I could help. I decided to get involved by connecting with Peas and their pods, who in turn connected me with Marcus Strider Dent. When I found out Felicia's body was found, I was devastated. Felicia's case really changed me personally because I decided that I wanted to get involved with more missing persons cases, especially in my own city. During the time of Felicia's Bar Felicia Barnes' case, um, I felt anxious. I felt like I want them to find her. I need them to find her, and I need them to find her safe and alive so she could go home to her family. After Felicia, I kept involved by learning the laws in my own city and state about missing persons. So when people started reaching out to me, I knew what the laws were and I knew how to direct them. In the past 10 years, I can't believe it's been 10 years because it still seems like it was yesterday and I could see that young lady's face. I stayed involved with uh, Peas in Their Pods in Marcus uh, Strider Dent in the Guardian Angels in Baltimore. Um, I stayed involved. The movement has grown. Peas in Their Pods has grown. The Baltimore Guardian Angels have grown. And I myself in Chicago have grown. Um, I'm, I'm honored to actually be a part of this video. I'm saddened that um, the outcome of this case, Felicia's no longer here and no one was officially charged with her murder. That saddens me, but I'm also glad that we have all stayed connected throughout the years and we've been able to help each other. And I'm glad to be a part of this video and I will always, always keep Felicia memory near and dear to me.